Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. I am conducting a 30 day challenge for myself focused on lip products and today is day 10. I thought because we're a third of the way, maybe I'd do a little bit of a chatty get ready with me. I am familiar with the lip product I will be using. It is actually the reason why I purchased more items from this brand because I loved the lip product so much that I said, well, they got to have better stuff too in the face department potentially. So I have an array of items from Fit Glow Beauty. Thank you to one of my lovely subscribers who actually recommended to me once in a lip video a while ago that if I really love lip gloss, lip balms, something really nourishing and wonderful that I really should try Fit Glow Beauty's Lip Color Serum. So I listen, I listen and I read your comments and I went ahead and I purchased one, I think, at first and then I loved it so much I actually went and purchased another three colors. So I will show you all of those lip color serums at the end. But I wanted to start off with just applying some makeup. I am getting ready to see my friends. Um, I have my book club this evening and we're gonna have dinner. And so I wanted to start with the products that I got. So I quickly just put a tinted cream on my face and did my eyebrows and that's about it. Everything else I think I have products from the line that I wanna use. I'm going to try this Correct and Peach. It was a little sample, um, but I'm hoping maybe it will do something to my melasma and brighten it up a little. It's a little dark, but that's not a bad thing, especially if you're trying to cover melasma. You need a little bit of depth. And some of these products I've tried before, so it's not a first impression. It's just, I have been waiting to talk about this brand until I did this series. And so I definitely want to share with you. By the way, I'm wearing three color nail polish. <laughs> I love them all. I decided to do a multi-tone nail polish look. So I like that. I, I, I think it's a good color for me. I'm just going over where I, my skin's a little darker from melasma. This product is very, very creamy, uh, but it has some slip to it too. Similar to the Becca Under Eye Brightening, it has a very similar texture. I would say this one might be even a little creamier. I think that looks, that looks nice. I don't like to overdo it with makeup when I go see uh, my book club friends. Um, not that I don't think they're gonna take me seriously, but I don't know, it's just sort of not the vibe. I like to do more like a natural makeup look, so I thought this would be just perfect. And I really liked a lot of this brand's kind of ethos, you know, they're, ooh, powder, powder. It's uh, clean makeup. Right now I am using their Vita Set Perfect Setting Powder in Translucent. They gave a little sample, I mean, you'll see it right there, which I appreciate. I think their products are pretty pricey. So if, if you can give out samples that allow people to really try your product, why not? And I just wanna put this all over my face. So it is translucent though, the color is a bit dark, but it does go on translucent. And it has a little more body to it, so it's not it's not super, super lightweight, but I like that because I like, I would use this with some of my lighter foundations to balance it out a bit. I had never heard of this brand. And when that recommendation was made, I started to look at swatches online because I think that the lip serum is something like $42. So that was probably the most money I've spent on a lip gloss. Now they do have sales and things and so once you get on their on their list you can get it for for less sometimes even a lot less but i found someone's channel who i've been really enjoying because of this search i think i think the channel is the state of kate k 
K-A-I-T, and she does lip swatches and has a discount code with, with Fit Glow. So definitely check her channel out. She's a really beautiful girl, but just like her personality. I like to hear her talk about products and also just talk about her life. I find her to be very interesting and I don't know. It was one of those that once I bumped into her channel, I couldn't stop watching videos because I just found her to be so engaging and someone, someone who I wanted to get to know. And I hadn't had that experience in a while. You know, I hadn't felt like I discovered someone new in a while. I'm sorry, you could see how much that did with just that corrector and that powder. My skin looks so nice. It doesn't look heavy, but it did add a layer of color. I mean, I feel like I got more coverage out of that. So that's exciting. One of their things is they have these pans that are like multi-use pans. So for cheeks or eyes and you buy them and they come in this sort of recyclable package and you can pop them out. They're magnetic. And you can really use them for everything. So like this color vanilla that I have right here can also be used under the eyes to brighten up the eye. Yeah, I feel like it definitely brightened up a bit. And then you could just sort of just haphazardly use it on the eye. And then I got four other shades and those I popped into one of their palettes here. And these are the shades I got. I got kind of a warm, bronzer color. I got a more cool color, um, one that's pink and one that's more peach. I wanted this to be a very useful palette for me. I was spending, I felt quite a lot of money and so I didn't want to, you know, be wasteful. So get practical shades. <laughs> and these colors are really pigmented. I actually just went into that pink, which I will list all the colors down below that, that I have, just so you know, but I can't pop them out of the pan right now because I'm on a time crunch. But it's a real pretty uh, rich pink. A little goes a long way. And I feel like it looks very fresh. I love that peach color too. I've used it. I've used it a lot and I've enjoyed it. I'm gonna put some of that pink on my lid. Next up, using the same brush, I'm gonna go into that warmer shade up here and just put some of that bronzer on. Go in a little bit with that cool tone color and just give myself a little bit more contour. So I really love these. I mean, it's nice that you can make yourself a, a nice compact of colors and Really think of it as a one-stop shop for creating your own clean beauty powder palette. I'm also going to take some of that contour, kind of go, I'm going to go between the two and just deepen up my socket. I want a little bit of dimension, but not a lot of shadow. We also got one of their highlighters. And this one is in Radiance. It's just called Radiance. And they have really beautiful packaging. It's this kind of glass. And then on the top, it looks like water has sort of spilled onto it. It's really pretty. I hadn't seen packaging like that. And I'm just going to put some of this highlighter on. It looks very vanilla at first, but it does blend down nicely. And I'll take some and just put it right underneath my brow bone too and kind of connect that together. Can build it up a bit more, but again, I'm kind of going for a more or a more natural look. And this is about the glow that I want, but I just, I really like that product. It's really nice. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Say Beauty. This one's a, maybe even a bit more subtle. I'm going to go into my waterline with their Brightening Beige Pencil. And this is just like a little sample. I find that they're very generous with their samples, kind of, again, letting you try products before you buy them. I 
always appreciate that. I also got their eyeliner in black. I'm not a, their pencil liner in black. I don't usually typically wear eyeliner, but I will put on some just for this look. So this is a nice liner. It has a little uh, brush at the end, which you could use to help smudge it out and give yourself like a little bit of a wing, which is what I'm doing. But it's not like the deepest, deepest jet black. It is more like a grayed black, but it does go over um, all those shadows. I do like the way that looked, just gave it a little bit of something special. The only product I haven't tried from their line before is their mascara. This is their Good Lash Plus Mascara. It is a beautiful tube. It is this like hot pink metallic um, container and then again has that kind of those water droplets. And let's see. Oh, I like this brush. So this brush has one of those arches, you know, synthetic bristles or plastic bristles. And then on this side has some natural bristles. Let's give this a try. All right, that was a little messy. Uh, the formula is a little on the wet side at first. So I wonder if it will dry down a bit. And I think I just had to concentrate on what side I was using of the mascara. At first with this, I went in a little willy nilly just picking whatever side and then realizing that that was a mistake. So on this side, I concentrated more on using those more natural bristle side first and then using the, the plastic bristle side to separate. And I think that that worked pretty well. I mean, let's see if it smudges. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna go out into a very warm evening and that will be the true test. So here we are at the product that kind of turned me on to this brand. So I have the shades Koi, Halo, Root, and Regal. And I think I'm gonna end up with a pretty light color, so let's start with some of the darker colors and I'll just talk to you about the formula. Again, beautiful packaging, frosted glass, you could see the color, and then that really cool um, metal with the little water droplets all over it. So this shade is Regal. Their applicator is nothing to write home about, but it is nice that it has a bit of an angle and a point, but it's not particularly like super cushioned or anything. The magic really lies in the product itself. So that's a more kind of cool tone mauve. I'll swatch also on the back of my hand. It has a tiny bit of almost mint cooling, but not like plumping per se. Um, it is very, very thick, but in all the ways, if you want your lips, lip gloss to be thick, this is what you want. It's, it's really, it just fills in kind of all your lip lines and it provides a lot of cushioning. It's not sticky. It's, uh, has a good amount of color, but still lets your lips kind of peek through. And I really enjoy it. It has a really soft sort of vanilla, vanilla scent, but really, really, really soft, almost like natural vanilla. Next up is the color Root. If you've seen my videos, you'll know exactly why I cho chose this color. This is absolutely like my kind of color. This is the color Root. This is a rosy, browny color. Really, really pretty. And again, kind of, it feels just like you applied like a thick coat of paint, like, but of hydrating paint. I, it's a really funny texture, but I love it. Next up is Koi. And this one, again, is such a pretty, pretty, pretty color. It's like a wearable peach, which I love. If I love a formula, I'm definitely always getting a wearable peach. It's one of my favorite kind of nudes to wear. So that's Koi. And last, and this is really the color that started it all for me, is Halo. This is Halo. And it's like a perfect neutral nude. I don't know anyone who wouldn't look great in this color.
there you have it. That's Halo. And these wear very well because they are quite thick. They're holding on to your lips, but it's still a pleasure to reapply. And again, it's a thicker gloss product, but it feels like it's protecting your lips. So in cold weather, this is great. It just, you won't get any kind of wind burn or anything like that. And your lips will look super juicy. I am eternally grateful for being introduced to this product. And if you have any product recommendations, lip recommendations in particular, please let me know down below because I am looking at your comments and buying some items, which I will try at the end of the series as a your recommendations video. So please definitely throw your hat in the ring if you feel passionate about a lip product that you want me to also be passionate about. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, consider subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so that you can hear about day 11 tomorrow. Hope everyone stays safe, does something fun this evening, and we will talk soon. Take care. Bye.